Welcome to Team Wilds Farminators. This week we're in Texas with the guys over at L3 Outdoors and they've got an extra special job on with an extra large case of firming control. Josh has had a call from one of his regular clients that there's a gator in their irrigation pond. So it just got daylight and uh, what we're hoping is we can catch this gator on the bank sunning himself. Um, if not, we'll probably shoot him in the water and try to fish him out. Um, I brought with me a Remington <clears throat> Model 700 and 243 Winchester which uh, is plenty big for gators. So we're gonna ease up here and uh, see what we can do. Hopefully we'll catch a skater on the bank. If not, might have to do some waiting. L3 specialize in pig control, but they'll take on any challenge. So Josh sets himself up on the bank and watches the gator as he swims in the pond. He's a little bit too far out for a good shot in the minute, but the boys are patient. Alright, so we found the skater, he's in the water, we were hoping he was on the bank, but uh, he seems to kind of be swimming towards us, kind of out of curiosity, so uh, we need him close enough that we can fish him out, you know, he's kind of coming right at us, so hopefully we'll get lucky. The only problem is, uh, so far is, <coughs> every shot he's given me has just been straight on, right between the eyes, and anybody that's shot a lot of gators know that you shoot one between the eyes, they'll skip off. As he comes in close enough for a shot, Josh gets him in his sights. He fires. The gator flips over and there's a pool of blood in the water. That's a great shot at that distance. With so little surface area visible above the water line. So what we did was that that gator never really gave me a a good shot, and he was, he was a little curious about what we were doing over here, you know. Um, this is a private pond, and, they, and the only reason you can take gators in Texas is off a private pond like this. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I pretty much tried to angle the bullet so that when I hit him, it would break his neck. Right? Brain shots are fine and dandy and they'll kick and roll out there, but I wanted to break his neck. I don't want him swimming anywhere. <clears throat> now what we'll do is we'll get a big rod and we'll cast it out there and we'll snag him and drag him back in. But we gotta, we gotta give him a little while, you know. Gators are tough. Um, even a good hit gator uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes won't, uh, won't be dead like you think he is. But uh, we'll give him some time. If he pops back up, we'll give him some more love from this 243. But uh, it sounded like a real good solid hit. Uh, Jeremy behind the camera, he was zoomed in on it. He said that he could see blood in the water and stuff. Um, of course, I lost him in the recoil. I'm kind of shooting off of this mono, mono stick here, and it's not the greatest rest in the world. Jeremy prepares the fishing line as the boys plan to hook the gator and drag him in. Uh oh, Jeremy hasn't got the far and the boat is filling up with water pretty quickly. So we sent Jeremy out here in a sinking boat. We found a washed up boat from one of the hurricanes or something like that. It's got about 14 holes in it. So we sent Jeremy out there. All he's got is old rotten log for a paddle. But by golly, we're gonna get this gator. Hey! You need about, about a mile over here. About a mile. You need to improve your paddling skills, sir. Left, right. Left, right. So they go to plan B. I get emails all the time, people wanting a job. Oh, I'd love to hunt for a living. Huh. Well, yeah, you don't want to work for me. Yeah, not at all.
Dude, just bail in there. Bail in there and start trading water. Once you get past your nuts, you'll be all right. Josh just shot that gator. Now, he's too scared to go in there and get it. So, that's where I come in. I'm gonna swim out there, get a rope with a treble hook. I'm gonna try to get a snag on him. Swim back with him, and see how it goes. He swims out to the gator, and even though this may seem dangerous, the shot was spot on and that gator is dead in the water. The amount of blood that immediately spilled in the pond showed that that gator was hit really hard. Once he's hooked the gator, he swims back in and then reels him in. Yeah, buddy. There he is. There's your gator, John. The boys then drag him onto the sand and celebrate a good morning's work and a dangerous gator taken out of commission. Well done, boys. Subscribe to Team TV for all the best hunting shows on YouTube.